Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Herman, Benit, and me, the three med bros. We're now officially three med bros. <laughs> and uh, you can be a med bro too by subscribing. <laughs> but in today's video, we're going to be talking about MDs versus DLs. And we're going to try to make this as honest as possible. Um, some things might be slightly controversial, but again, we keep it real here. So first of all, what is an MD and a DO for people who have no idea what we're even talking about? So an MD is someone who goes to an allopathic medical school, so they get a medical doctor, I think that's what it's called, right. a doctor in medicine, versus a DO goes to a osteopathic medical school, so they're going to get a doctor of osteopathy. MD is usually what you think of when you go through the classic medical school route. You do your four years, you do your residency, all that stuff, you become a practicing physician, you learn everything about physiology, anatomy, all that stuff about the body, pathology, and take care of people. And then a DO is going to do all of those exact same things except you would add on top of that something called OMM or OMT. Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine. So OMM is pretty much, uh, it stands for, OMM stands for Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine, which pretty much refers to the techniques used when you have somatic dysfunction in your body. And somatic dysfunction is a um, term used to describe when a patient has some sort of misalignment within some parts of their body, so the natural processes aren't working as they should. And so OMM is a technique used to relieve that and align the body back into um, it's the way it should be working. And um, it's just a technique that, uh, DOs use and in addition to all of the other practices that you know MDs use. Right, exactly. and there's a bunch of different techniques and everyone can have a bunch of different somatic dysfunctions. Alright, so let's get to the hard-hitting questions because you have already all heard this basic mm -hmm. stuff. One thing I want to make clear before we continue is that DOs are completely equal to the practicing uh, abilities that an MD would have. They can prescribe the same medications. They can, you know, do all the same things that you can think of. Let's just get that out of the way. Again, you can watch other comparison videos. We're really going to dive deep into the really complex differences between MD and DO in this video. Exactly. And we're talking about the differences, but like you said, they're largely the same. They largely do the same thing. A lot of people don't even know their doctor is a DO. Mm -hmm. So true. keep in mind, there are so many similarities that we can't name them all. So we're going to focus on some of the differences. Exactly. And let's start with the first difference, which is how do you get into a DO or MD school? So um, for DO and MD schools, you still have to go to a, traditionally you go to a four year um, bachelor program where you get your bachelor's degree in science or whatever. And then you um, take your MCAT, you need an MCAT score and you do a similar application. So you have AMCAS and I believe it's a Comus. And um, you apply uh, for DO schools and you apply for MD schools pretty much the same exact way. They might have a couple different questions, but you still need your GPA to everything and then the cycle is also traditionally the same you get interview invites you um, you know you get your acceptances and rejections um, but the differences come about um, usually in discussions like this with the competitiveness of applicants Right. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of controversy about this. Some people say that MDs are more competitive. Some people are say that DO is more competitive to get into. And so what's the truth? Right, there is a little nuance to this. So the main thing you have to understand is fact, looking at the facts. So the numbers of GPAs and MCAT, they don't lie. For DO schools, it's going to be generally a lower MCAT and a lower GPA that they're accepting. Like you said, the MCAT and GPA are lower for DO schools. That is true and you also said there are less DO schools, but I would say that overall it is harder. You have to be a better applicant to get into MD schools. You need to have more extracurriculars, more uh, a higher MCAT, higher GPA, and yes, there are less DO schools, but from what I've seen anecdotally and um, I guess all of us can vouch for this that generally less competitive people do get into DO programs as opposed to MD. But as a caveat, there is a lot of overlap. People who apply to MD schools will also apply to DO schools. Just because you have stats for an MD school doesn't mean you're necessarily going to go to an MD school. Or just because you have lower stats for a DO school doesn't mean you're going to only be able to uh, apply to or like you know be qualified for DO schools. There's people who um, stat wise might be MD school kind of level but they go to DO schools. Mm -hmm. Exactly there's some star students mm -hmm. with very high GPAs and MCATs yeah. that get into DO schools and also there's some pretty low GPA and MCAT students that get into MD schools. Yeah. So it's not as cut and dry as you might expect. Right like some of the reasons why you might see somebody in a DO school is 
um, their location or their financial burden. They might choose a DO school over an MD school for these reasons. Or they might just not get into any MD school. Say they applied to about 15 schools and they're stars and 4.0s and high MCATs. You still might not get into MD. While it might be statistically true, I think it's unfair to individually or to individuals to put a, such a strong correlation between DO schools and low statistics mm -hmm. because that's not always true, especially when you get to an individual level. Like Herman said, there's reasons why somebody with high statistics might go to a DO school, whether it's family, whether it's finances. There's a lot of people I know who have done that. So um, I just think it's unfair for DOs to get that type of uh, you know, correlation when it's not always true. And the main thing also to know is the statistics are going up every single year. Remember, a lot of these DO schools are new guys and the MD schools have been there for a long, long time. When you're a brand new DO school, you're gonna get less competitive applicants than would be the really try hard people trying to get into MDs and they're really competitive. So give it some time, these DO schools are gonna be really competitive as well. Exactly. So when you're looking for what school you should apply to, you always want to look at the future prospects of that school. And a lot of the MD schools are probably going to stay around a similar range, but you can sh it's pretty much guaranteed that a lot of these DL schools, their GPA and MCAT is going to be steadily well, rising, rising yeah. um, at a much greater rate than the MD schools. I think the nuance and irony of that is a lot of these MD schools have DO teachers and mm -hmm. DO um, uh, and DOs working in their hospitals and one of their um, are their top physicians um, so I think that that shouldn't be overlooked either that DOs are in present in these top institutions as some of the main teachers main deans you know so I think that shouldn't also be overlooked right and going along with Sean's point if you rank them if you rank all the DO MD schools one two three four all the way down to hundred whatever there are over there, you're going to get overlap. Like, yes, you'll get the top MD schools, but then you'll get some DO schools, then you get some MD schools. So it's exactly. just not cut and dry. So let's go yeah. ahead. And yeah, let's move. Around. Exactly. So basically what we're saying, in case any of you are confused, it's not as cut and dry as it seems. Some MD schools are better than DO schools. Some DO schools are better than MD schools. And either could be right for you. And the stigma that MD schools are better than DO schools because the MD schools have a higher overall MCAT and GPA, is just not true. Like I said in my previous video, there's kind of this hierarchy that a lot of people hold in their head. They think American MD school, then you got your DO school, then you got your Caribbean schools, then you got your internationals and all that stuff. People have like this hierarchy pretty much in their head. So let's start with the MD versus DO comparison. So definitely I think the overall sentiment, even though it's kind of hidden, is that MDs are, have more respect than DOs. That's what people are secretly thinking. You see it in the Reddit threads. Nowadays though, I think that a lot of the stigma stems from the statistics. Mm -hmm. Like to be honest, I think that I, a lot of medical students look down upon DO students as being lesser than because they're, oh, they're probably like statistically were worse than Exactly, them. and like you said, it might've had a basis in other things mm -hmm. early on, right. but I think now, now it's, it's exactly, it's like self-propagating right. because the, uh, better students are like, I don't want to go to a DO school because of the stigma and they end up going to an MD school. Mm -hmm. And that basically, it just continues on for generations. Right. So you have the better students generally going to MD schools, not because they're better, but because they want to avoid the stigma of the DO. So to show that this truly exists, which it definitely does, I think on the internet, if you say something like this, uh, it might be a lot more controversial, but in the real world, I actually think that this viewpoint of DOs being more inferior is still very prevalent because um, in my class, um, we have a mentorship program and I heard that um, there were students who were saying that they didn't want to mentor DO students because they're not good enough. And I thought that was a terrible thing to say. And I personally signed up just to mentor a DO student because I thought that was super unfair and a very ignorant thing to say because DO students are, like we said, very capable and knowledgeable. And just because they're DO, applying to DO schools doesn't make them less than us. So I, that's just an anecdote for me to show that this is still very, very like prevalent in the community. Recently, even a really popular YouTuber named Dr. Mike did a video on DO versus MD. Mm -hmm. And if you just go to the comment section, I was actually shocked yeah. when I read that comment section of how many people just blasted Dr. Mike for being a DO. Mm -hmm. Like comments such as, you know, oh, he thinks he's all that, but he's a DO. Yeah. Oh, he thinks he's a physician, but he's a DO. I think the stigma, we have to trace it back to the root issue. And I think the root issue is the, obsession basically that the medical community has with prestige mm -hmm. they're obsessed with mds being up here nurses being down here they're putting yeah. they're trying to figure out where do's are but they're definitely under mds like there is an obsession with this hierarchy mm -hmm. 
And it really is a serious problem. And again, it leads to this culture where we're basically trying to illegitimize certain professions now because we don't want them competing with the MDs. It's a systemic issue that I think we need to address. Let's talk about one of the other concerns people have with MD versus DO, which is getting a residency. So we did some research for this video and it looks like DOs have a fairly okay time getting into internal medicine and family medicine residencies, usually even within the states that they want to do them in. I think the difficulty comes in when you want to compare MDs versus DOs getting into really competitive specialties or specialties in areas that or states that are really competitive like in California. Some people would argue that any DO can get into any competitive residency if they try hard enough. Right, and I think that's totally possible. I think that they're gonna have a much harder time and I think this is another reason why a lot of people don't wanna go down the DO route. If they want to do something high level like neurosurgery or really do internal medicine at some academic center and then follow up with doing GI party or something like that. I think DO is, uh, people are a little hesitant to go down DO because it's hard to land these uh, residencies that are traditionally picking up MDs. And again, the people on these boards are probably looking down at DO students and it is a bit of a disadvantage there as well. So that is something realistic. That's a realistic point that you do want to take into account when you do go down the DO route. Exactly. And when, if you're applying to medical school and you're thinking of applying to DO, make sure you look at which residency you're interested in, which field, and if it's a competitive residency, make sure you look up the numbers, the stats, so you're informed, so you don't you know, get screwed at the end thinking, I thought DO schools had just as equal chance. Yeah. Um, so make sure you look at the odds yourself and determine for yourself whether a DO is for you. In 2020, there is gonna be a merger so that MDs and DOs basically will be applying to the same residencies. And it's a bit unclear as to how this will affect the uh, rate at which MDs and DOs get accepted into residencies. But one thing I think that there's a general consensus on is that it, it's uh, another affirmation that it's equalizing mm -hmm. DOs and MDs with this merger. It's kind of like saying, okay, well, they all are kind of doing the same residency, so why not just put them all on the same level playing field in an application process? So that's one um, general thing that people are agreeing on, that it's kind of gonna equalize them. So in conclusion, DOs match fine with residency. They have great match rates, um, and it's still definitely possible to get into competitive residencies if that is your goal. Um, people definitely make it into um, neurosurgery and dermatology um, as DOs. Yeah, and especially if you're going to something like family medicine or a lot of other fields, you'll have basically the same amount of success as an MD. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, it really depends on how you do in medical school, how you do with you know what you do in and outside of school. Like there's a lot of factors outside of the school you go to. Now let's talk about some of the common conceptions and even misconceptions about MD versus DO students. So let's start with the idea that DOs are more holistic in their treatment of the patient. Okay, so let's get a little controversial with this kind of stuff. This is one that I have actually have an issue with where you're constantly gonna see DOs say this one statement that's holistic, holistic, holistic. You will not stop hearing this word. And I just have an issue with this kind of uh, um, overall consensus that DOs are some kind of holistic uh, physician. Every physician, every good physician mm -hmm. out there, whether you're an MD or DO, is trained to look at the person as a whole and make sure that if somebody's coming in with a fever and they're sweating and they have some kind of uh, you know, infection source and you immediately think it's sepsis, every good physician is going to look at all the other things on the differential and go, maybe it's his heart, maybe it's his lung, maybe it's his brain. It's a holistic approach, whether whichever way you look at it. So I think when you peel away all this stuff about holistic and all this other baloney that's going around, and like I said, it's becoming more and more even. I think once you peel all that back, the real difference between an MD and a DO, it really does come down to OMT. I think if it's if you are a DO, the only thing you have additionally in your bag that an MD does not is the ability to treat a person with your hands something's not harmful and they're just using it in addition to the prescri uh, prescriptions and usual techniques that an MD uses, I don't think it's anything to look down upon. So that's where I think the kind of disconnect is for me. Just because someone does OMM or OMT doesn't make them worse of a doctor because it's not harmful. Exactly, and not necessarily all or even most yeah. physicians who are DOs use, use these OMM. techniques. They mm -hmm. might just practice 
um, medicine the same as an MD. Exactly. The next generalization that people say about DOs is that they are better than international medical students, such mm -hmm. as the Caribbean. That is so what do we think about that? That is interesting. So basically, like I said in a previous video, is that there's a hierarchy. Um, DOs from America are usually put higher than the Caribbean MD students uh, to a lot of people. Uh, but recently, there was a YouTuber named Buck Parker who gave his take on this, his hot take on this, um, that he got a little flack for in that he said uh, he would rather have Caribbean MD students over um, a DO student from America. So there is a bit of uh, controversy, there's, the, there's a bit of a gray area here because if you do go to the worst of the worst DO schools and the best of the best Caribbean schools, you might be actually having better connections out of that Caribbean MD school to blend a residency than out of the worst DO school. Uh, from America, so listen, listen go yeah. ahead and break. Let me down. give you the real take because here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm an investor. I I play Sean. stocks, all right. And you know what stocks going up? The deal stock. All right. <laughs> the Caribbean stock is probably going to stay the same. Might dip a little. All right. The deal stock is rising. I bye agree. bye bye. Where's where's Jim Cramer? Seriously, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Get, 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 the, get the little uh, theme song, get the little that. With the elephant. It's bullish, um, it's definitely looking bullish. Exactly. So the deal, you have to look towards the future. If you're concerned about which school is better for you, right now it might be kind of iffy, but especially when the merger happens, I think, and especially with the stigma decreasing as the general public is educated about what a deal is, I think the DO is gonna rise, 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 while the Caribbean is probably gonna stay similar. So basically, if you're an investor, DO looks more promising, in my opinion. Right. But again, like Buck Parker and many others have stated, there is some gray area. They do have some valid points. I don't wanna discredit anyone, but um, in my honest opinion, in general, again, look at the specific schools, mm -hmm. um, but in my opinion, you might be better off being a DO now. Um, I think also just a general disclaimer though, real quick, whether you are a Caribbean, uh, at a Caribbean school, international school, whether you are a DO, whether you are an MD, your end goal is going to be treating patients. Yes. So honestly, you can get caught up in all this mishmash stuff and watch a million videos on this. But to be honest, if your goal is just to help patients, you're not going to really care too much. I mean, obviously you want the best future for yourself, but if your if you're calling is at a Caribbean school, it's really not the end of the world. If your calling is at a DO school, it's not the end of the world if you wanted to go to an MD school. Don't feel bad about some prestige, et cetera, and stuff like that, because you're gonna be treating patients regardless of where, what school you go to. So don't be discouraged by any of these weird rankings, weird prestige things. In the end, you're doing what you love, so that's all that matters. Well, that's gonna be it. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please call me at 1 800. Don't call me. And <laughs> make sure. <laughs> and this is why I'm not hate you. Crazy. 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 I can't keep telling you to subscribe forever. It's a notification bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> um, but, anyways. Uh, and also, just a point, my channel has now turn into an all three channel pretty much and so, this one has as well we're all med bros we're all core viewers. yeah if you haven't gone to my channel it's pretty much these all three of us now so um make sure subscribe, to, subscribe, to, core subscribe to that one too because technically yeah. you'll be subscribing to that. yeah you want to end it end it <laughs> peace <laughs>